I got involved with AECT's Virtual World Committee. The Association for Educational Communications and Technologies Convention is only days away. If October 27th finds you in Louisville, something to look for at this year's convention is three-dimensional virtual worlds being used as learning and communication environments. Whether or not you physically make it to Louisville this year, you can visit the new AECT virtual headquarters. AECT's Virtual World Committee has been hard at work for months building a space where AECT members from all over the world can gather to interact in a virtual face-to-face -face way. Here you will find meeting rooms to suit a variety of communication styles. You will arrive at the railway station, a visual metaphor for your ticket to entry into a new world. Those who are new to virtual worlds will probably find themselves most comfortable teleporting to the conference building in the sky. Here you will find meeting rooms set aside for the use of each of AECT's divisions. Many of the divisions have already begun to decorate their new spaces. AECT is an international organization and virtual worlds allow participants from all over the earth to gather together at any time. This is a 24-hour world clock. In addition to the meeting rooms, you will also find the AECT Hall of Presidents and the beginnings of a virtual library. Those of you already into the spirit of fun that really is an important element of virtual learning and communication environments may prefer to have your meetings in the offices in the train station itself. Here you will find the International Student Media Festival and the Educational Communications and Technology Foundation. Those with an even more playful bent will probably prefer the mountaintop meeting room, the underground caverns, or the pleasant outdoor presentation spaces. The day before the grand opening of the virtual headquarters, uh, we were actually a little worried whether anyone would show up or not. As it turned out, the place was packed. For an hour and a half, there was no room for anyone else to show up. We had to turn people away. When the main presentations were over, we sent out an announcement to let people know there was room, and more people started popping in. It was a complete success. We were pleased. So, what's the future of AECT in the virtual world? Well, I can't tell you for sure, but I can tell you this much. I'm looking forward to it.